Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Welcome to our free tutorial to link your Sage Timberline Office data, core module data, to Microsoft Excel. Uh, today we're going to look at linking your live data to an Excel spreadsheet. Now the term link, that's very important. Uh, at first we're going to pull your data into Excel and then link means if your Timberline data changes, which of course it does, uh, you'll be able to go back into Excel and refresh it so that you're always pulling the most current uh, version of your data. Uh, again, today this is going to cover the core modules, uh, and we're going to cover the basic steps at first. Uh, at the end of this thing, we're going to talk about some tips and tricks and talk about where to go to get more information. Let's get started by opening up Excel. Okay, Excel is opened and we're on a blank workbook. Now to get our data, the first thing we're going to do is click on this data tab and then under get external data in the get external data group we're going to click on from other sources. Now within that group we'll click on from Microsoft Query. At this point a dialog box opens asking us to choose a data source. These are listed DSNs. Uh, these should look uh, familiar to you. Uh, we've got another free tutorial out there on how to set up an ODBC DSN for uh, Microsoft products. And in that, we set up a DSN called free. So we'll go ahead and select that DSN. And again, that's just a pointer, a pointer to the Timberline data. Uh, again, if it's at all confusing, uh, circle back and, and look at that uh, tutorial on setting up ODBC DSNs. So I'll select that and I'm going to elect to not use the query wizard. Okay, I'll click OK. And I am asked to log into Timberline. Now it's taking a little bit of time now to connect to the data source. Uh, What's happening here is this query is, is there's traffic going through that DSN, that pointer to our Timberline data. Timberline data is, is answering that query and it's returning uh, the list of tables to our view. Okay, now on my list of tables, I am going to grab my AP vendor table, for instance. Let's say we want a list of vendors. So I'll go down to APM master vendor I'll click that to highlight it and I'll click Add. Now this is the only table that I want to grab so I'll go ahead and click Close at this point. Now I'll pull this Microsoft Query view back in and we can say this is a query from Free. Free is the DSN. It's a query from the pointer to the Timberline data. And this is our vendor table and the different fields that are on that table. Now the first field I want to grab into my query will be the vendor ID, so I'll go ahead and highlight anywhere in the vendor table and I'm going to type a V for vendor. The best fit pulls me down to the vendor ID, I double click and we see it hit my query. Then I'll click back up in the table and I'll click an N for name and you see I get the vendor names. Now that's not too bad, is it? Now tip and trick you may want to use this query again, so I'll go ahead and save as and I'll call it AP Vendors. Next step, we want to pull the data into Timberline. So to do that, click on File and return data to Microsoft Excel. Not return to Timberline, return to Excel. Okay, my cursor is at position A1 and I'll go ahead and hit OK. Again, we've got some network traffic happening. This DSN, Timberline, is uh, being called from, from the DSN. The data is being returned back through the DSN into Excel. So it, there may be some latency or hesitation there. And now we've got a live link to your Timberline data. And you can see that as I go through this list, we've got our AP vendors. If you want to refresh, let's say that uh, you've closed this uh, worksheet and you've changed your vendor list and you want to go back in and get a, a revised list, you simply go to Data, 
and refresh all. When you click that, Excel will go back to the DSN, get a new picture of the data, and bring it right back in. So you'll get a current uh, snapshot of your data at that point in time. Okay, and wrapping up, uh, this concept of ODBC, this is a huge topic. This is a primary tool we use in taking you and your system and the use of your data to the next level. Uh, this topic is, is covered in great detail in our Crystal courses and in our ODBC courses, and we'll, we'll, we'll comment on those again in, in just a moment. The version of Sage Turnbline Office we've been working on is 9.6. Uh, what we've worked on today will, will work and is tested through 9.7 and it goes back to 9... actually it goes back to version 1 now that I think about it. Uh, if you've got any issues with a prior version, please don't hesitate to contact your business partner or Timberline support or um, shoot us a note if we can help out. The version of Office we've used is 2007. We can uh, do the same thing in 2003 and prior versions. Uh, same same uh, uh, goals are accomplished. The, the user interface is a bit different. Again, don't hesitate to contact the various resources if, if they or if we can help you out if you're on those prior versions. Uh, DSN. We, we accessed a DSN or a pointer to the Timberline data called free. Uh, we could have called it Acme Concrete if we wanted to. Uh, the word free has, has no significance. Uh, that DSN has to be set up on any machine that is going to link to your office data. Uh, the DSN, if it is set up among various machines, must be the same name and have the same settings so that Excel files work on, on those other machines. And where to go to get more information? Uh, we, we've got uh, again. We've got these these crystal courses and ODBC courses uh, that we do at this at the Timberline Summit User Conference. Uh, we go into great detail on these topics, uh, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, we also teach at the uh, Timberline User Group Conference or TUG. We teach consultants at the Consultants Conference uh, on these concepts so that they can help you out. Uh, don't forget, please, that Sage Timberline has many, many online learning opportunities. Uh, go to the website or contact your partner to find out uh, what is out there and how it might benefit you. And again, you, you've got your business partner and consultant to help you out as well. Thank you for attending. We hope you got a lot out of this. Please, please, please visit our website. Let us know what you thought about this tutorial. Uh, we pay very close attention to your feedback. We are constantly striving to improve the quality of what we provide so that you can get the most out of your investment in your software. Thank you, and have a great day.